Hello, this is Bob again. This will introduce the third and final part of my short story, The Sleepless Artist. I hope you enjoyed it and look forward to future work. Mm -hmm. Morning came, but no dream. No colors, no guidance, nothing. I ran to my workshop yet again and instead grabbed my pestle and mortar. I started mixing colors over and over in a vain attempt to recreate what I saw, but to no avail. Anger started to grow inside me with every field mixture until like a volcano it erupted. I threw the pastel mortar and color to the wall, then went to work on my workshop with such savagery that nothing was left. Amidst the haziness my fury caused, I must have cut myself, as blood was dripping from my hand, exhausted. I fell to the floor by the wall. As I tried to regain my bearings, I noticed some blood had fallen into the pool of what had been my color palette. All of a sudden I saw it, the color from my dreams. Now or why, I do not know, but I finally knew what I'd been missing all along. With a shattered canvas in my lap and a broken paintbrush in my hand, I now know the truth. To create true art that will blind the masses with glory and silence the critics, an artist must put all that he is in into his work, his body, his soul, and very blood, so that it will always be a part of him. Always.